Under Mary Schmidt Campbell's leadership, the conversation around public education in America has become purposeful. Spellman, you have hit the mother load. The words of greetings and testimonials about our new president, and in her very own words, you will get a clearer sense of who she is and the new possibilities for Spellman under her leadership. You will also get a clearer picture of why the board unanimously, unanimously voted to appoint her as the 10th president of Spelman College. When people come to Spelman to consider giving, they will know first that they are meeting with one of the most admired thought leaders in the world. And number two, they will know they're coming to a very fine liberal arts college, that they are there just to make it better and better and better. And so I want you to remember the words of a giant, Janetta Cole, who said, leadership is about service, not being served. I've watched Mary go about educating women, mentoring and guiding women's careers, young women students, women in mid-career, women who had already assumed the mantle of leadership. As I prepare to leave Spelman in body, but not in heart, I feel safe leaving our beloved Spelman in your hands. Though you have already taken the college by storm in an oh-so-Spelman way, I would like to officially welcome you as the 10th president of Spelman College. We will not rest until a new fine arts building honors the creative and essential role of the arts on a liberal arts campus. We still have work to do on our own campus to keep all of our women safe and supported. And we will not rest until Spelman College is a model of Title IX compliance. We're rightly proud of our graduation rate, but we cannot rest until we have a school in which every woman who comes to Spelman leaves with a degree. There really is no doubt in my mind, Spelman College is the premier institution responsible for cultivating young African-American women for the rigors and challenges of leadership. We need to find a way to be in partnership and alliance with people who don't necessarily look like us, may not even like us, but this world requires that we form those alliances. If we are going to have peace and prosperity, a hundred years from now. What I learned was that there was a world of women activists, this concept of scholar activism, that it was not enough to just look and see, that we needed to look, see, and act. Thank you. All right. So you guys living in paradise here at Spelman. Ashe! Power! Ashe! Power! Beloved sisters, you found sanctuary here. You're protected here so that you might know your full strength as equal human beings and as equal with God. We belong right here at Spelman.